But it's very well documented all the problems that athletes experience leaving sports. And I think probably one of the, the light bulb moments for, we, for me was when I did a charity climb to Kilimanjaro with 15 ex-Welsh rugby captains and speaking to them all the way through that journey up the mountain and um, you know listening to their challenges along the way. I thought, I know this, I know there are issues out there, but who is actually supplying the answers or the solutions? Mm -hmm. um, and from our experience when uh, retiring from sport and going into business, I knew that business really valued these guys yeah. and they'd love to engage them, they just didn't know how. So there were, for me, there was a process missing. Um, there was a lot of organizations to do with sport that are helping guys through their, their career and to, to the point of transition. But that commercial element to get these guys from point A finishing to point B, C, whatever it may yeah. be, uh, into the business world, that was kind of lacking. Mm -hmm. um, and I just felt there was a solution there. So I got back from that trip and we rang for, you. Went for a beer. I said, I think I've, I've got an idea. I think there's, there's, a, there's a real um, a void out there that's not being filled. Um, how do you fancy doing something to help? I think when Andy came to me with the idea, I'd done five or six years as a, an entrepreneur trying to find out and hone those skills that I had and making lots of mistakes and having a few successes. And then, the, uh, you know, for me, the light bulb moment was as soon as he mentioned it, it was like, oh my God, yeah, that's something I can really get passionate about. And I think I'd missed that passion that I had with sport and it reignited a new passion for me and, mm. and gave me that drive to help set up a new business. And seven years ago, we set up Athlete Career Transition, which uh, has changed our lives, definitely. Well, I think it's that kind of collective responsibility to be able to do some good for other people, which in turn sort of helps yourself. And so, you know, looking at the experiences we've got, and we're not a business that stands still. We, we're very innovative. We, you know, we're constantly looking to improve and to get better and to change things that even if they're working really well, we want to make sure that they work better and look at different, uh, different technologies to do that and different ways of working and different ways of thinking.